Good morning, friends, family, fans. Today is October 6, 2014. And you know one thing about Barbara Baskin, she always a habit of giving her viewers the time and date. It's precisely 9.24 a.m. on this beautiful Monday morning. I'm here playing outside the legislative building. For all of you who have been keeping up to date with my Facebook page and posts and videos, on September 26, 2014, Barb Baskin Studios has given a hot tip that Dear Captain Rice, Captain Rice for Congress, and Mayor Wayne Hall is going to be going to some of the businesses on Main Street in Hempstead um, to speak with the business, business owners, informing them on how they would like to clean up the village of Hempstead. Here we are on this beautiful Friday afternoon. Today's date is September 26, 2014. I'm here live on location on Main Street. And I hear a rumor that Captain Rice is going to be coming to the barbershop. I just seen her and Mayor Wayne Hall across the street. Um, so I was asked by a small business owner to please come up there with my cameras and, and catch this on video. Now I was told Miss Rice and the Hall would have been there at 4 p.m. I got there a little before 4. They were already on the streets. Um, they were aware of all cameras on the scene. There was no other press aware of this event. So Barbara Basket Studios began to film live and to walk through the streets to McDonald's and as you would see me speak with Brian in the barber shop and said that they had just missed them. Now I hear she's supposed to be coming to the barber shop. So let's go inside and talk to the guys and see how they feel about that. How you guys doing? Barbara Basket still reporting live here. Oh, you guys, where are they? They still Captain Wright just left here. Why was she up there? Well, she said that, that she wanted to clean the streets of Hempstead. She wanted to clean the streets of Hempstead, huh? Captain Rice, I went to your headquarters with my limo on this past Wednesday to deliver a 9-11 show that you was a part of in Hempstead. First of all, it's hard that we didn't really see you in the minority community unless it's election time. But I went to your headquarters to deliver a show and those people act like they didn't even see me or acknowledge me. I want all you voters to know that racism is very much alive and well. Elect a candidate that's gonna do something for the community. Now let's go find Ms. Rice and Mayor Wayne Hall. This is Barbara Baskin supporting life. So when I caught up with Captain Rice and Mayor Wayne Hall with the cameras on, they didn't seem to be too happy. They seemed to be very shocked and upset by my presence there. There are a lot of people. Come on. Oh, we found them. Let's go. Look at this. Barbara Baskin reporting live. Let's see what they're up to here in Hempstead Village. Oh, hello, Mayor Wayne Hall. Hi, Barbara Baskin reporting live. What's going on here? What are you doing up here? What's your name? Hi. Hi, how are you? Oh, we can't talk. talk. What you guys doing up here today, Mayor Wayne Hall? I'm not really sure what were they doing going into the Biddy Supply, Herbert's Meat Market, and that many other businesses, and Jenna's Barbershop speaking to people without other media outlets being notified of that event. I don't know if Miss Rice and Mayor Wayne Hall and all the other people that was with them um, that you'll see in the video, what were they doing up there? What were they speaking in the stores to the people about? And why did they feel the need to call and you'll see Mayor Wayne Hall put his hands on his hip and pull his ear to signal for them to call the police. I just left the barber shop and they said Rice said that she wants to clean up the streets. Well, we're going to. We're going that's to. Our, that's our job. Okay, where's Miss Rice right now? We're going to get to do it. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, we're gonna be filming this live, Barber Basket Studios. Um, why did Miss Rice come out and tell Barbara Baskin she's giving me enough of her time when I interviewed her at Spices? For her event, that interview was very professional and respectful. I also interviewed Captain Rice at the 9-11 for Hempstead, and that interview was also very nice. So why did Miss Rice treat me so cold and rude? And what exactly were they doing on Main Street? And why was the police called? Were their intentions to hurt us, kill us, shoot us? Why were so many police called when as the press we have the right? 
and News 12, Channel 7, 5, and 11, you guys should be inquiring about this. But please, viewers, remember you saw it first on Barbara Bass. Um, I actually have a television show. Come here, come show me a way home. The show that Barbara Bass Studios is now selling. The event that was at Spices. Um, we have that for $25 a copy. I actually went to Miss Rice campaign headquarters to drop off the nine. No, come on. No, come on. I went to drop off Captain Rice 911 show to her headquarters in Garden City. And I gotta say, I got a pretty bad reception from a lot of people that were working there. Said it's real hard to see certain politicians in these communities. But we always see them during election time. As you can see, the streets are filthy. Um, we have a lot of drug activity. The McDonald's directly across from the courthouse. They found someone dead in there. The drug addicts are in there constantly shooting up. So, hello, Miss Rice. I have given you line. so much time. Oh, I, have, I, have, I have promised really? the business owners you that, that Miss Rice is coming to speak to the owners. Yes, and we're doing really? it. But we know what's really happening here, don't we? I'm gonna be going here to take a bonnet from the copy of the, one, the raw footage that we obtained on September 26th with Miss Rice and Mayor Wayne Hall walkthrough. And I'm filing an official complaint against her and the mayor because I was in fear for my life and my safety. Um, Miss Rice is on her campaign trail with the mayor. Turn around to the police. As you can see, we got our cute little police here on their bikes. Keeping the area clean. Um, I hope they go and make that them on the drug addicts out of there because they're actually taking that over. And as I spoke to Miss Rice people, we need her because we know she's tough. And we need him to stay clean up, not during election time, but all the time. And this is Barbara Baskin supporting live. Like, keeping the area clean. Um, I hope they go and make them run the drug addicts out of there because they've actually taken that over. And as I spoke to Miss Rice people, we need her because we know she's tough. And we need him to stay clean up, not during election time, but all the time. This is Barbara Baskin reporting live. This is Barbara Baskin reporting live. Because when all politicians do things that are questionable and breaking the law, then we need to have them investigated. And this is what I'm doing. I'm taking this to the legislator. And let's see what Ms. Rice was doing at Man Wayne Hall. If they did violate any laws, they should be held accountable and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Executive Ed McGannel, LeVon Abrams, the first minority leader, Jay Jacobs, the Democratic Party chairman. Uh, I'm getting ready to go in here because I feel like I was violated on September 26, um, 2014, on Main Street and Hempstead. I don't understand why Mayor Wayne Hall and Captain Rice um, acted like that. I don't know why they were so upset by my presence and our cameras. But I certainly felt that the police were up in arms and trying to get their hands a hold of us. And I didn't feel safe for them. I think we're very lucky that we was actually able to make it off Main Street alive without police trying to shoot us or detain us based on whose orders, Mayor Wayne Hall and Captain Rice. You guys will see the video. It's pretty explicit on what was happening up there. And if Ms. Rice and Hall violate any laws, Let's hope that our, our great legislators here will prosecute them for the face of Senator Law. This is Barbara Baskin's reporting live here. Get ready to go in right now. And let me see if I can get in front of you. Oh, that's the correct door. I'm getting ready to go in and follow the file um, with Kavan Abrams and any other necessary parties that I need to follow the 
well, my family and my friends. Um, I'm done here at the legislator's office. Um, it's precisely 9.54 a.m. on this beautiful Monday afternoon. God, the sun came out. Um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so all you ladies out there, make sure you get your mammograms done. Um, I've spoken with Kim Kavan Abrams, PR person, about the incident with Ms. Rice, and I also brought her tape of raw footage of the incident. I also spoke with Ed McGaddle's person, Victoria, and given her a tape, and requested that Mr. McGaddle investigates what was going on with Captain Rice and Mayor Wayne Hall on Main, Main Street on September 26, 2014, at approximately 4 p.m. Friday afternoon. And why did they feel the need to call so many police up there on us? Why were the police even called? Um, we were no threat. Barbara Bassett Studios was acting on a hot tip. And why so much of her security people surrounding us trying to approach us on the sidewalk? And had we not kept the cameras on them, I may not even be alive right now. And I thank God that I have Natural Action Network stands behind me. First and foremost, God stands behind me. I'm not afraid of you, Captain Rice, or you, Mayor Wayne Hall. There's been many allegations of possible corruption, Mayor Wayne Hall, with you. We even have footage from a, a meeting in 2011 where Erling Hooper accused you of backdoor deals when she spoke about getting money for tax relief. She said she's not only gonna watch every dollar of the money, but she's gonna watch every penny. There's been allegations of you um, giving other people business. Um, there's all kinds of allegations of corruption. I said to you, today, <coughs> I have my license approved, but I couldn't resign from my license because I want to work it together. But you don't work it together with us. Maybe I'm wrong to say that right here. Before. I think you are. Wow, right. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong to say to you that one, you but are. this is true. Because you was in my business. <laughs> and I wanted you to work it together to protect our business. Because with the future construction we, are, we will get at the time, we want to get to know what's going on, what to happen with our business, and what kind of position the people that have those small business they could do. Uh, where's the, the future? Do you, uh, I mean, I don't feel anybody just start thinking about if they have to get out of the business, where do they have to go? There's people stealing money from the community development agency. There was a problem with the housing authority. Now there's allegations of possible death from Percy Jackson, Youth Center, Time Out Club. We gave them a donation. No one ever gave us a receipt when I inquired with Mr. Bose about it. Or he didn't even know we gave a donation. And this is over a month ago. This is September 6th. I have the money on it. No one knew anything about it. And then when we never received a lead or receipt from them acknowledging they received the order, and until we inquired about it, Cornel Bozell said he looked into it and tells me from a text message dated October 3rd, 2014, that uh, Percy Jackson is going to send me the money, $200 money order back uh, with a thank you note. They're not accepting donations at the sign. Now, what exactly is happening? How many pe How much corruption is at the fore forefront here in Hempstead Village? D.A. Rice, you actually prosecute crime and you bring criminal suggestions. Who will prosecute you if you commit a crime on September 6, 2014? Was that even allowed? Is the press supposed to be notified of you going to the streets of Hempstead with the mayor? Were there any backdoor deals being done? I don't know. This is all baskets asking you. You tell me.
Hempstead Police for emergencies, incidents of possibly burglary and other incidents and crimes being committed in the community. We know many residents have complained that the police take up to a half an hour, hours sometimes they don't even show up on the scene. Now, Barbara Baskin Studios have footage of police talking to her drug dealers on South Franklin. There are a lot of allegations about our police department. We even had a police that was shot behind his courthouse a few months ago, and he was saved by the vest. You'll see that news caption in this. But here we are, as that day, September 26th, I had got out on Main Street. I'm now taking the same path on October 17, 2014. And it is precisely 3.28 p.m. on this gorgeous Friday afternoon. And I was walking through here, and I knew I had to get up here. So we're walking through here, and we're trying to catch up with me and Wayne Hall and Captain Rice. And as always, Barbara Basket Studios know one thing about the media, is that anytime there's a breaking news or hot story, you must always arrive early. Because most things that are planned, especially if people aren't following the right protocol, are done hastily, so no one sees it. Now, as you'll see in the footage that we covered on September 26th, I walked past, this is the path I took that day. I walked past this McDonald's because I knew it was close to four o'clock and I knew Miss Rice from Noma would probably want to get up here early. So I turned this corner and I decided, let me see what's going on in this barber shop. Because I certainly didn't want to miss Miss Rice and Mayor Wayne Hall speaking about cleaning up the streets of this. And I went in this barbershop. Come on. I came in here. Hi, Brian. How you doing? How you guys doing? I know y'all famous, right? I know about it. And I was speaking to Brian. He does my hair. This guy sells DVDs. He sells spiritual stuff. I would advise all you viewers to please support him. I'm sorry. Can you give them your number? 516-280-7664. Okay, thank you. Robert Bass is reporting live. Like I said, I was asked to come in. This is a path that the celebrity took. This is a black owned business okay. here in Hempstead. And we need well, all you people out there watching us to come here and support them because they got the celebrity. Barbara Baskets is famous now. And it always starts somewhere. And we're doing real big things on Barbara Baskets Studio. So you come out here and support Genesis Barbershop. And this is Barbara Bass is reporting live. Like I said, we walked through this path and he said I had just missed them. So as I leave in the barber shop, who do I see across the street? But Mayor Wayne Hall and Captain Rice. They knew Barbara Baskets were really hot on the trail. So they were really running really fast. So this is what happened. I see them across the street. And we get Raymond Yeager, um, the reporter that's so many Barbara Baskets lives credit for getting his footage. So here we are. And we're walking through here. And guess who I see? I'm walking down this path. But you gotta remember, most of the businesses here in Hempstead are the most supporting conditions. Herbert's meat market is filthy. They don't keep up the health code. So here I am at this funder right here. And guess what happened? My nephew says, oh my God, oh Barbara, they're right behind us. So this is what Barbara Basket does. I go across the street here like this, and who do I encounter right here? Now mind you, this happens to me from the from the picture. Right here, we run right smack into Mayor Wayne Hall. But we already have Miss Rice that's inside this beer supply with several people, a campaign manager, um, Max, the mayor's PR person, and several other people. So I first wait Hall, and I'm gonna want to know what's going on here on Main Street. Oh and he's telling me, um, Captain Rice. I said I heard you and Rice was in a barber shop, and that y'all said um, that y'all want to clean up the streets of Hempstead. And Mayor Wayne Hall said that's what we're gonna do. So then he goes like this and that. Because he's sick when someone to call the police. So he goes in here where Miss Rice is, and they speak with her. They continue to call the police. So she has one of her security people here, which you'll see in the footage that Barbara Bassett is speaking to. And the man telling me he can't speak with me. So as we continue to walk, Rice comes out of here, and Barbara Bassett stops and says, Hi, Miss Rice, you're here with Barbara Bassett's live. 
Miss Wright said, I've given you enough of my time. So we proceeded to walk down this street. And I'm like, what's going on? And she says, I'm speaking to the business owners, really. I, I said, I heard. First, the mayor said she was doing an interview. But when Miss Rice came out, she said she was speaking to the business owners. And they went in her business and I told her, I hope you please tell these people they need to clean up this filthy, nasty supermarket, filming there. To be a, a meat market, this place is nasty, it's not clean. They don't follow health care protocol. You wouldn't find this in a white community. But they went in next door. I don't know what they were doing. But if you notice in the footage, by the time we get past here and we turn around, we have several police. Turn around. We have several police on bikes that actually came around from that corner, which you'll see in the footage, on Mayor Wayne Hall, Captain Rice, the Lord knows close orders to get Barbara Basket Studios off the street. You'll see them in the footage where there were several one of them there. And had I not told my husband to turn the camera on them, we might have been shot dead here on Main Street. What was happening here that day? Why was any other press not notified? Well, you saw it first from Barbara Bat. You see, zooming on the touch of TLC. You see that hair salon? Hello, hello. I went there to get my hair done one day, a few months ago, and the business owner was very disrespectful to me. Um, they actually act like they wanted to fight me. We know that most of these businesses in Hempstead are filthy. Come on, let me take you a walk through the Hempstead. What are you voting for on this election day? Look at our streets in our minority community. But we got a district attorney walking through this street of Hempstead. Um, take a good look at how we're living. What are you voting for this November 4th? They want to walk through Hempstead with D.A. Rice and talk about cleaning up the streets. Why? Look at our streets. This is how we're living in our businesses. Most of the Hispanic businesses, and look at this fish store. Take a look inside this place. This place is not even clean. But this is what you're voting for in the minority community. You'll never find a fish place like that in any other community. We have the worst everything. Percy Jackson is the worst deploying condition. Don't know if children deserve better than a plan places full of holes. Um, don't know if kids deserve a better future. What are we voting for, people? All you politicians, Dean Skellis, Peter King, County Executive Egg Magano, Steve Israel, all of you politicians, Governor Andrew Cromo, News 12, Fox 5, Channel 7. We here in a minority community count. We don't count when you need our vote. Fix up our community. Mayor Wayne Hall, stop trying to build up Hempstead when you can't even stop the murders, the gangs. We got open racism and discrimination in our businesses. We have all these illegal immigrants. They're not in Garden City, East Meadow, Lindbrook. All minority communities is a dumping ground for anything. What are you voting for, people? Respect. We deserve the same respect they got in Garden City. Vote wisely November 4th. And this is Barbara Baskins reporting live. We need change. All of you politicians out there, we only see you here because you need our vote. But when we got violence at a record high, I can't tell you how many people get murdered in Hempstead in one month, more or less three months. The moment murder happens in your community, your people get up there and they're outraged and shocked because they're not used to that happening in their community. But in our community, that's an everyday occurrence. So what are we voting for? We have all these leaders. We have all these leaders here and no one is improving the quality of life. Look at this place. What are we voting for? Blakeman, Captain Rice. Y'all don't care about our community, Bruce Blakeman. I love to see you here to address the murder and come up with a plan so our kids can get out of the gang to stop selling drugs and give them a better quality of life. I dare you right to do the same. You too, County Executive Egg Magano. What about when all kids are dying from drug addiction or being shot or armed? Hands up, don't shoot. We need you people then too. You know what? We are, once society realizes that racism 
It's at the very core of things. That's right, that's right, that's right. And that, you feel me? Once our society realized that racism is at the very core of everything happening in this world, then they can make change. When, when black mother's sons' lives come as important as white mother's sons' lives. Until the deaths of black mother's sons are as important as the deaths of white mother's sons, we are not realizing, we are not realizing the promise of America. Then we have true equality. When we have diversity in our community, in our businesses, where people are not afraid to hire them. When we as a people can go in places like Coach and Fendi without people looking at us as if we don't belong there, then we will have true equality. What are you voting for? We need you, Captain Rice, Egg McGano, all you big politicians that covered the epi epidemic with the Caucasian kids. I didn't know that drug addiction was racism. But here we got a major news channel in Long Island, News 12 Long Island, and only stories they would feature on their heron diaries were of white Caucasian people. We have all these politicians, State Assembly Gillard Grabber. <laughs> we need you people to address we the people put you in office. You are there to represent all needs, to make life affordable for our children because they are our future. To make sure that we have health insurance, that no matter what pre-existing condition we have, insurance companies aren't allowed to discriminate against us. To make sure that you protect the rights of the disabled, of the mentally incompetent. You Republican, Democrat, conservative, you are there to be the voice to make our lives easier. To make sure that when our kids come out of college and they invest all that time, that they can get jobs. You're not there to serve one race. There's only one race, and that's the human race. You're there for all people. It's time that you, my voters, wake up this election and realize what are you voting for? And this is Barbara Baskets telling you, let's end the racist discrimination with all of our politicians that have been doing it so openly as if they were wearing it like a second skin. Let's send a message to all of those parties out there that we as a people demand respect and that black lives matter.